Oh, we're back. And today I've got something really exciting for you. I've got What We Brew in the Shadows by Black Iris and Ridgeside Brewery. And this is pretty delicious. What We Brew in the Shadows is a New Zealand IPA with the name inspired by the New Zealand mockumentary. See what you did there? What We Do in the Shadows. So for those of you who haven't seen that mockumentary, honestly, uh, it's quite funny. It's sort of like a horror comedy. Anyway, it's hard to explain what it is. It's just funny. Uh, go get yourself a plate of biscotti uh, and go check it out. And when you do come back in that reference, you'll get it. Anyway, on with the review and we'll start with the can. So the can follows the theme of what we do in the shadows, you know, with the vampires, dark, bats, all that sort of cool stuff. And Black Iris themselves are known for having the, the dark cans, so they've had a few like just pure black um, with some white stencil-like images on the front. This is a slight deviation from that as the artwork's a little bit more fleshed out, um, but still follows with their, their dark black theme. So this New Zealand IPA, it's hopped with Motueka, Nelson Sauvan and Waimea, uh, all New Zealand style hops. And um, the Matueka gives it a, the tropical fruit flavors that you expect. Um, the Nelson Sauvin is more used for, um, for aromas and to add a little bit of a bitterness. The Waimea is primarily used again for aromas, and but to also add like a piney and a little bit of citrus bitterness in the background. More on that in a second. So when I first poured this, um, Immediately super super thick and pulpy um, Pours like uh, a glass of orange juice um, Hazy matte yellow color uh, in the glass um, Poured super smooth not too much carbonation in there. You end up with a slight um, Small white foamy head on the top and when the pour is finished you end up with like a matte yellow color um, super hazy opaque in the glass um, but, but rather light with a very small white head on the top taste wise you definitely start off with the tropical fruits from the uh, Matueka uh, hops, so you get uh, big tropical flavours. Straight after that fruitiness, the other hops kick in and they cut right through it with their bitterness, um, and that just basically just balances the overall flavour. You finish on some pine, you also get a bit of bitterness, uh, but nothing too heavy. Um, so you really have this nice balance of a kick of juice up front, and then that's then quickly balanced out by some bitterness with a bit of pine and lemon in there as well. Um, overall, just making it a really delightful beer to drink. Overall, flavour-wise, uh, I'm a massive fan of this. If I knew what it was going to taste like when I bought it, uh, I'd probably have bought more. It's only 6%, so it's not too heavy, uh, and it's sort of you know smooth like juice to drink, so um, it's really one that you could just sit back and enjoy on a weekend. Um, don't have to think about it too much, not too complex, um, just full of good flavour, uh, pretty well balanced, and yeah, it's just all around delightful. So just a little something about the breweries involved. So first of all, we've got Black Iris. So Black Iris are out of Nottingham in the UK. Now, as I said, their beers before have come in you know, normally in the dark black hands with great um, white stencil looking artwork on the front. Um, and they're always fun and they've produced some pretty good beers and they're becoming quite popular here in the UK. And they've collaborated on this with the Ridgeside Brewery, who are again based in the UK in Leeds. Um, and that's where the final brew was brewed uh, and canned. Just a small hour and a half trip up north to Leeds from Nottingham for Black Iris um, to go brew this with Ridgeside. And based on how good this beer was, I hope they make that journey again in the future and collaborate again because this was absolutely delightful. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, hit me up in the comments down below. Let me know what other beers you'd like to see. Um, are you enjoying these? Should I keep doing them? Um, what sort of other videos would you like to see? Uh, I want to make this channel for you guys, so please uh, hit me up in the comments down below and let me know. Come follow me on Instagram. Um, I'm at beer me up, please. I'll link that down below. And yeah, that's been it for today. Uh, thanks very much for watching. And please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And that's it for today. Cheers.